The sentiment coming out from locals here is mainly one of disappointment. We can overhear them talking, saying that we, we bit the big one. We, I could hear some people here talking to each other, saying um, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, concern about the rise of the Netanyahu bloc, specifically the strong positioning that Itamar Ben Gvir will have in this current coalition. If we talk, if we talk about the voter turnout, though, while it did increase from the last round of elections, so did the general, the turnout in the general population. The increase in the Arab vote was slightly uh, smaller than in the general population, and a lot of that has to do with the sense of disconnect and frustration between uh, among Arab voters from their political leaders. And I spoke to one of those political leaders, a city council member here in Nazareth from the Khadash party. His name is Firas Hamdan Khadjikhia. I, I asked him about this sense of disconnect and frustration among Arab voters. This is what he said about that. The most important thing is to be with the people. If you are with the people, among the people, in the villages, in the cities, in the neighborhoods, help them with all the problems. Bring budgets, help with the labor problems, the expansion of territories of the Arab sector. If you will be with the people, the people will be with you. If you don't listen to the people, you are disconnected. You cannot be away from the people for two years and then come a week before the elections and ask to vote for you. This is my principle at work. Work. My work will always be to help my people. If you help all your people without distinction, they will be with you in the elections. So, so, David, as you could hear Hamdan saying that there's a lot of soul-searching that needs to be done by Arab parties, not just Hadash, ahead of the next elections. And a lot of homework, he said, they need to do to try and, 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 and tighten that sense of connection, of representation. A lot of people are, are looking at the Balad vote as a, uh, as, as, as a vote uh, to voice their frustration with the current Arab political leadership. And ahead of the next elections, whenever that may be, they believe that there's still a lot of work to be done on that front. Now, Ariel, just a, uh, less than a minute or so we have left here, but on, on Balad, here, as you mentioned, then they got a lot more votes than they have in, I think, any previous election here, still below the threshold. But uh, what's thought to be behind that? Some type of a protest vote, in a way, going with all these extra votes going towards Balad? Right, so on, on the one hand, it's... On the one hand, it's a pro it's seen as a protest vote um, because the other Arab parties, namely Hadash and Tal, failed to uh, solidify a united uh, list to run together and try and avoid votes uh, to be wasted, as uh, many critics of Balad are, are, are saying. But not only that, also a lot of Balad voters that I'm speaking to today are saying that it was important for them to vote for a party that they feel has been carrying the Palestinian national issue, the issue of their Palestinian national identity. This is something that Arab parties, other Arab parties have been talking about less out of these elections. The Jewish parties hardly talked about this, including on the left, uh, which is something that Arab voters uh, were frustrated with, and they see their vote for Balad as a frustration vote.